Hello everyone, welcome to CKA Lab 15. In this lab, we're gonna go over how to use JSON path uh, to get information that we need out of our resources. So um, let's look at the requirements. First of all, prerequisite, we need to have access to a cluster, which we do. We have a cluster with one node. The first one is we need to demonstrate using a JSON uh, output that we can look at different specs of pods. So let's get all the pods. Let's look at any of the pods right now. So let's get k okay, get pod minus n cube dash system. We're just gonna grab the first one. And we're gonna do output JSON. What you see here is the hierarchical nature of all the configs that are associated with this pod, this whole bunch of information. The thing we're looking at at first is the status. If we see here, uh, status is the top level spec, if you will, top level, top level attribute of a pod. Under status, we have some singular items like host IP and pod IP and whatnot, and start time. So using that, we can get pods information using those attributes. So that was number one. Uh, I showed you that there are different levels and I'm, actually I did not show that. So if you look at the output here, you see, for example, under spec or even environment, there are different levels of attributes. Name belongs to environment and value from belongs to environment, but field, field ref and all those are part of are, are under field ref so they're all hierarchical 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 in that in that way so under status some of them are top level but then under status also you will see that there's conditions and whatnot again a lot of hierarchy going on in the configs so we've demonstrated that the third one is one of the top level attributes is status i'm showing you showing you that next uh, step is for just an to get using JSON path, get all the IPs of the of, of, of IPs of all the pods. Now, one thing to uh, kind of memorize for the test is that for JSON path to get all the items, you use dot items and then um, uh, square bracket star. That's how you you get, grab all the items at any level. So at the top level, we can use dot items to grab all the configs, and then we can narrow down what we need. So let's do this for example i'm going to show you what that means now so this is the command i'm going to run right what you what i'm telling in the, in the, uh, the api is that give me all the i uh, give me all the pods in all namespaces then use json path and get me all the items at the top level so all the pods right and then under which give me the status of all those items and then under that give me all the pod ips as you can see in this pod the IP is this. So if I run this, I should get IPs of all the pods. And there, there they are, all the pods IPs you can see one after another, no line break. So we can do the same thing because I remember in the when we first looked at the um, specs, start time is another one. So I can, let me bring this up a little. Let me make sure I have enough time left. I have a five minute time left, uh, time on window. So I have one minute left. So if I do the same thing, except this time, I'm gonna use start time. This is, this is um, case sensitive, by the way. If I do that, I get the start times of all the pods. So that's how you do different um, attributes under status, for example. Now, what I wanna show you real quickly is that you can actually iterate over different levels of attributes. So first we do spec. And you get all the all the pods specs under that, right? If I do the same thing now under spec, their containers, I get only the containers from all the pods. So I hope this. Uh, so there's basically the idea is you use the uh, attributes to your advantage when you do JSON path. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. That really helps me with the YouTube YouTube's algorithm. I will see you in lab 16.